Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to look at guitars and Cadillacs. Guitars and Cadillacs was a request both from Robert and from Lee. Thanks for asking for this, it's a great classic country song. It was written and recorded by Dwight Yoakam in 1986. The song is very much in the style uh, pioneered by Buck Owens called the Bakersfield Sound. And uh, it's got a kind of a, a really nice shuffle rhythm which we're going to make a lot of. The fiddle playing on the original was by Brantley Kearns or Keynes. I apologise for mangling your name Brantley. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to give you some ideas for the verse, for the chorus and for soloing and backing. And incidentally, if you're enjoying my videos, do please consider joining me on Patreon. OK, let's kick off with the intro, which is played on a, a solo unaccompanied guitar and sounds something like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now the first thing you have to ask is, is that an appropriate thing to play as a fiddle intro? So you have to ask yourself, who's in the band? Uh, do you have a lead guitarist in the band? If so, that is definitely their job to play that line. If it's just you and a singing guitarist, then it's up to you either to play that line or to find another appropriate line. Um, and I think that's more of a guitar sound than a fiddle sound on that particular line, so I would probably find something different to do but I always like to give the original as well as some alternatives. Okay, the next, first thing we're going to do now is to look at the actual melody of the verse, which is useful for orientation uh, and it may be useful, uh, you, you may possibly do this as a uh, fiddle solo instrumental, um, unlikely but possible. So let's play the verse and chorus more or less as it's sung. Okay, so that's the verse. Uh, it doesn't sound like much played just like that, but if you add some um, open string drones, double stops, and uh, a few ornaments, it'll sound quite a lot nicer. Three, four. <laughs> So I've got a video about drones and I've also got a video on a thing called the scale of sixths which helps you to very easily harmonise lines like that kind of thing. Uh, so let's uh, look at the end of the first chorus. Uh, we have a little guitar line that goes like this. So that's... Um, Then it's into the guitar solo, so you could consider that to be the beginning of the guitar solo. Um, this first guitar solo is quite simple and melodic and straightforward, so I'm going to show you that. Uh, let's do it. Um, let's do it with the backing. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So if there's no lead guitarist, that is quite a nice solo to do and quite straightforward. On the original, that uh, eight bars of guitar solo is followed by a fiddle solo. So you might do both the guitar solo and the fiddle solo as written. 
So the fiddle solo, first of two fiddle solos, goes like this, and this is quite quite tricky. So we're starting off with four fingers on an A, and we're holding that down, and we're going. So it's uh, it's a Nashville shuffle. And we've got a hammer on from the first to the second finger, and remember the fourth finger is staying on the whole time. So that is uh, triplet, F sharp with an A above it. So let's just do those uh, two bars. And then. So that's uh, an E drone with a E below it. Bring the first finger down from B to B flat or A sharp. And then repeat that line. Fourth finger open. Little uh, hammer on with the third finger. If you find difficulty with that fourth finger open doing that, um, the, the, the biggest problem is that your finger has to be going vertically down. If you're, um, if you're at an angle, then that's going to touch the A string, which you mustn't do. So you've got to get your wrist right round. Uh, if you can't do that, uh, then just do an open E drone. It's much easier but slightly less effective. So let's do the whole of that solo with the backing. Notice that we're giving this a swing because the, the backing is going dum pa dum pa dum pa dum pa as opposed to da 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 da. So um, if you've got a phrase like down dagger down dagger not don't play them even play them swan okay the next section is a verse with guitar fills and I'm going to give you those original guitar fills so I'll give you those fills uh, along with the backing. So they, those all work. You could even do that in unison with the guitar if you wanted, if the guitarist wasn't too annoyed at you. Uh, let's do um, some more fiddle-like fills, which are probably more fun and more appropriate. <laughs> Okay, um, if someone is doing a guitar solo or you want to play a more discreet backing, then um, something like this will work. Um, so uh, the notes I've chosen are an E with a C sharp above it for the A chord and an E with a B above it for the E chord. And there's always lots of different combinations of notes that you can use to back up chords and I do have a video on choosing two note chords which might be helpful. Let's just try a little bit of that with the backing. You may notice 
notice there I was doing which is a kind of a, a chopping thing um, I find that vastly more satisfying than just leaving that little space <laughs> to me that's really annoying Even if it's completely inaudible to anyone else, I, it's just so satisfying doing that yourself. Okay, let's move on now to the next written fiddle solo. And uh, this is quite a tricky one. So we're going into third position, playing an A with your first finger on the A, on the E string, and an E with your second finger on the A string. So that's the notes we're playing, and we're going. So we're keeping the first and second finger um, in the same relative position, but we're just sliding them down a semitone. So it's da 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 do da do da 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 do da. It's a nice little pattern. So that ends the two bars again. straightforward, we're droning with an open E on the end of that. Then fourth finger on the A string and second finger is playing a G sharp on the E string. So the fourth finger stays on all the way through that section. And if you're really clever you can keep that fourth finger on to the end of the bow. <laughs> I think that's too tricky. So that's then. Let's do all of that slowly. One, two, three, four. Two, three, Hear that up to speed and with the backing. Now, because that is quite a tricky solo, and I would say that 90% um, of the people you play this to will not remember the original solo, I wouldn't worry about, about copying that. You could simplify it and play, or play completely play your own solo, which is probably what I would do, uh, depending on what you find easiest. Some people, that all they want to do is to read and memorise, whereas other people, they just want to <laughs> play and have fun. Um, so, that's fiddle solo, I would say, is optional. But just learning it is going to be a good technical exercise anyway. We then have a, another chorus, uh, which you could do the same as the last one if you wanted, or um, to some kind of chopping backing. And we've got a tag at the end, which goes something like this. And um, this again I would say is optional. If you're playing in a band uh, which is well organised and rehearsed then that's a nice ending. Um, I play this kind of song with lots of different bands which are <laughs> neither tight nor well rehearsed. And the less organisation you have uh, the better actually in that situation. So uh, just make sure that everyone knows where and how it's ending is the most important thing. Um, I'm going to play out with uh, a couple of times round where I play the melody and um, incorporate fills and drones and all that kind of stuff into there, uh, making a nice satisfying sound. Um, on Patreon I'm going to do uh, another separate video on this where it's a call and response, so it'll be um, one bar played, one bar listened, and it's a really good ear exercise to do something like that. Uh, if you want to join me on Patreon, you can get hold of all of my PDFs uh, in one go, plus my backing tracks and even free lessons if you're at the level 3. Um, 
And if you would like a free copy of the sheet music for this lesson, then do subscribe and send me an email. So I'll play you out with a couple of times around. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Thank you.